So in this video, I'm going to explain to you how auto layout works for WatchKit in the Storyboard Designer in the SDK. So first, I have a label here, and when I click it here in the attribute attributes inspector, we have a whole heap of attributes. Now the first lot up here are settings for the label, and you probably recognise these from working with labels in the regular. Uh, storyboard designer for iOS. So they, for the layout, we don't really need to worry about this. But all these down here do relate to the layout. So the first one is the alpha. Now you've probably heard of alpha in web in Photoshop or web design or a whole heap of other places. That's basically how visible the element is between zero, which is completely invisible, and one, which is completely visible. So, when the alpha is zero, the element is completely invisible, but it's still taking up space in the design. What if you don't want it to take up space in the design? Well, that's what the hidden button and the relating function in um, code that hides the element is for. As you can see, when you press the hidden button, it takes the label out of the design and gives you the space and fills the space with other stuff. The next thing is the position. So the first position, the horizontal position, is left, center, which of course centers the element, and right, which puts the element on the right, as you can see. So again, that's pretty simple. And there's the vertical. This sets the position of the element within the whole screen, within the whole design of the app. So of course center puts it right in the center of the app and all the other elements and bottom puts it right down the bottom. The last thing is the size. We have three options here. The first is size to fit content and that's pretty self-explanatory. The next is relative to container. So again this is a value between 0 and 1 and as you can see it's basically a percentage of the width of the container, either vertically or horizontally. Uh, lastly, we have adjustments, which is basically either minusing or adding to whatever value comes from this. And then we have height, and we have the same three values do, that do the same thing. So next thing, we have I have a button and a switch. As you can see, these both have a 0.5 relative to container width. But what would be nice is to put these next to each other. You probably won't actually do this because it's kind of stupid, but it'd still be nice. As you can see, you can't drag this up next to the other button. This is what groups are for. So if you drag a group in, you can drag that first button into the container and the second button next to it in that uh, group. So as you can see, you can have either two buttons or a button, a switch, button, lever, whole heap of things next to each other in the group. And you can even embed groups within groups to do all sorts of laying out with that. So that's a really quick introduction to how the layout settings work in WatchKit. And really, you just have to keep those in mind as you're designing your interface to help you solve problems that you might come up against.